Antwerp has been the heart of the diamond trade since the 15th century. Today, more than half of the world's diamonds pass through Antwerp on their way to the major global markets. The knowledge and expertise of Antwerp diamond cutters has been passed from master to apprentice since the very beginning. This is why Antwerp's diamond cutters are considered the finest in the world. As a master IJO jeweler, we have the privilege of visiting the offices and workshops of Antwerp's world-renowned diamond cutters. Some of these companies are site holders, meaning they receive a regular supply of rough, unfinished diamonds from the operators of the world's diamond mines. As your direct diamond importer in the world's diamond capital, we have access to an exceptional selection of diamonds found only in Antwerp. Eric J. Locke spends several days searching through parcel after parcel for just the right diamonds. If we can't find a diamond in Antwerp, it means it probably doesn't exist. By going directly to the cutter, we are able to find the exact diamond you're looking for and pass the savings on to you. You may ask, how do I know I'm getting the best diamond for my money? Understanding this begins with what is called the four C's. The four C's are a set of characteristics used to classify the value of a diamond. Every diamond's price, rarity, and beauty are determined by the combination of cut, color, clarity, and carat weight. To better understand the four C's, it helps to be familiar with the anatomy of a diamond. Facets are the many flat, highly polished surfaces that make up the diamond. A standard round, brilliant diamond, for example, typically has 57 facets. When observing the whole of the diamond, the top section is called the crown and the bottom is the pavilion. In between is a band of tiny facets known as the girdle. The table is the large, flat surface at the top of the diamond. The table is considered the largest polished facet. The very bottom tip of the diamond is actually a very small facet known as the culet. A diamond's diameter is the distance from one side to another, passing straight through the center. The depth is the total height of the diamond, measured from the center of the table straight down to the culet. As a master IJL jeweler, Eric J. Lock Diamonds and Fine Jewelry takes the four C's very seriously. To experience and continued education, we put our diamond knowledge to work for you, our clients. Now, let's look at the four C's in detail, starting with the most important, cut. Cut describes the proportions and angles of a diamond. Many people confuse cut with the shape of a diamond. Diamonds are available in various shapes, including round, princess or square, pear, marquise, oval, or other specialty shapes. When dealing with the four C's, however, cut specifically refers to the angles and proportions of a diamond. Although nature determines the other three characteristics of the four C's, it takes the skill of a master diamond cutter to reveal a diamond's true beauty through the cut. A well-cut diamond reflects light from one mirror-like facet to another and projects the light through the top of the stone. The result is the fiery and brilliant display that diamonds are known for. Diamonds that are cut too deep or too shallow leak light through their side or bottom, resulting in a lackluster appearance and diminished value. There are three common terms that describe the light emitted by a diamond. Brilliance is the liveliness and sparkle. It occurs when the maximum amount of light entering through the top of a diamond bounces inside from one facet to another and then is reflected back to the viewer's eye. The fire, or dispersion, is a term that describes the flash of different colored light coming from the interior of a diamond. It occurs when white light is separated into its component rainbow colors as the light is passed through the facets of a diamond. A diamond sparkle, or scintillation, describes the quick flashes of light, resembling colorful, fiery sparks reflected from a polished diamond. Ideal cut diamonds are very special diamonds that have been cut to be mathematically perfect from every angle and facet. They can be quite rare, but the explosion of brightness and light they produce is unmatched. Antwerp diamond cutters benefit from the experience of generations of craftsmen to help them achieve the greatest fire and brilliance from each diamond.
Diamonds must also be evaluated for their color. Even though diamonds are found in a kaleidoscope of colors, white colored diamonds remain the most popular. Diamonds are graded on a color scale implemented by the Gemological Institute of America, or GIA. The scale ranges from D, which is colorless, to Z. Color differences can be so subtle that diamond colors are graded under controlled lighting conditions and are compared to a master set for accuracy. While truly colorless diamonds graded D are treasured for their rarity, diamond color is ultimately a very personal taste. Bright, natural colored diamonds in yellow, pink, or blue are considered quite beautiful and very valuable. Your Master IJO jeweler can show you an array of color grades next to each other to help you determine your color preference. When in Antwerp, we grade the diamonds in special light-controlled rooms like this one. This helps us pick out the whitest, brightest, most beautiful diamond from each parcel. Nature ensures that each diamond is as individual as the person who wears it. Clarity is based on the naturally occurring inclusions, such as minerals or fractures that are created while diamonds are formed in the earth. Master IJO jewelers use magnification to view diamonds at 10 times their actual size, so these tiny identifying characteristics are more easily seen. Inclusions are measured on a scale of perfection established by the GIA, known as the Clarity Grading Scale. The greater a diamond's clarity, the more rare and valuable it is. An inclusion in the middle or top of a diamond could impact the dispersion of light, making it less brilliant. We use our diamond grading expertise to find diamonds whose brilliance we feel is higher than their clarity grade may suggest. This allows us to find great values in the Antwerp market on truly beautiful diamonds. Carat is a diamond's measure of weight, not size. One full carat is equal to 100 points. A three-quarter carat diamond is the same as 75 points and so on. Since larger diamonds are found less frequently in nature, a one carat diamond will cost more than twice a half carat diamond, assuming that all the other characteristics of the four C's remain constant. The cut and the mounting can make a diamond appear larger than its actual weight. As your master IJO jeweler, we will help you find the right diamond and mounting to optimize its beauty. If you know the carat weight you are interested in, we can find it in Antwerp. In some cases, we even find a larger diamond at the same price. We can also match diamonds for a pair of earrings or a tennis bracelet. Just let us know what you need. Carat weight gets mentioned a lot, but as you have seen from the four C's, there are other important factors to also consider. Antwerp's exceptional selection becomes our selection, making it possible for us to find a diamond with the exact specifications you desire. We're not just looking at the numbers, we're actually sorting through the diamonds firsthand. We will typically reject many diamonds before selecting the perfect one for you. The four C's are only a way to classify a diamond's value based on characteristics and measurements. To truly appreciate a diamond's beauty, it has to be seen. That's why having an experienced master IJL jeweler you can trust is very important. When making your diamond purchase, let Eric J. Lock Diamonds and Fine Jewelry, your master IJO jeweler, put your mind at ease by adding the confidence, trust, integrity, honesty, and expertise you need when buying from the heart. For brilliance you deserve, visit Eric J. Lock Diamonds and Fine Jewelry in Allentown.